if you're going to have a, an intimate relationship with God the first thing that is needful for you to do is to discard a certain kind of haste that is part of the fall that is locked in your soul when when we call for a prayer meeting have you noticed you have not noticed there's a haste in your soul all right you will need to murder that haste you need to kill it that haste is one of the strands of the fall of man because since man became a rebel he doesn't want to stay in god's presence he moves out of god's layer so there's that haste that is in your soul that you need to conquer you need to conquer by subscribing to patience waiting in the presence of the lord the second thing you will need to do is to learn how to speak to god now most of us for most of us prayer is very formal in this school prayer is not that formal prayer is like talking to god and one thing you must understand is that god does not talk much god only answers much so if you stop talking you stop getting answers you will initiate god's answers in this school you initiate it you initiate god's answers keep talking as you as you as you walk on the streets you are going to the office you are taking a car and if you are lucky you are not driving keep talking you see your heart is in such a way that it can speak without a vocal expression your heart is designed like that your heart has a vocal cord and you can mobilize your heart to begin to communicate with god and speak to god you will find out you will find out after a while just keep doing it every day every day a time will come when you try to you set out he will answer you he doesn't speak much and he only answers much and you will need to develop a culture of perpetually speaking in order for you to come to that point where he's willing to begin to strip himself before you this is a very secret school and only moses gets to activate the possibilities of the school and i'm praying that you will be that moses that moses that will activate the possibilities that are locked up in in a mysterious place called the tabernacle it's accessible but it's covered it's enclosed so the things happening inside are not are not are not up for everybody to view hallelujah and it's like a boot and only one person has very good accommodation inside actually so it's designed for your personalized engagements so you will need to schedule your heart program your heart to begin to commune communicate talk to god start with your problems that's a good place to start oh god can you see i am crying are you not seeing it in that school it's not formality everybody is real there he speaks to moses like a man will speak unto him. if you have a friend sister come if you have a friend won't you tell her your you know your challenges the kind of stuff that's 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 how the person will know that you have accepted her as a friend you can open up you can say there is a challenge in the family this thing i'm telling you is going to be you have to cut it the next thing you will do when you learn how to speak to God speak with God is that you will learn how to practice obedience the Holy Spirit is not powerful in a vessel where his authority is not acknowledged you know Jesus actually slept in the boat and there was a storm but Jesus was sleeping and he snored oh hallelujah so what releases jesus for, for action is not danger in the face of so much danger jesus was snoring oh now the reason why i brought that that scripture is because he can sleep in your life too and for many of us he's been dozing he's just, he has gone to even buy um an op orthopedic bed because it's a good place for snoring in order for you to engage jesus engage the holy ghost you must make him lord you must you must establish that he is worthy to be obeyed so when you wake up in the morning one of the things you tell god as you're going out is i want to obey you meanwhile in your office there are very terrible people there the, the only thing they need is spiritual arrows too 
that is what they really need to cut them down but you know that there's a war front in your office you just want to obey god it's difficult to do it there are terrible people there but i want to obey god and you go there there's somebody that is on your neck is willing to make you lose your temper every morning by 9 30 a.m And then the first day you tell God, I want to obey you. That person will offend you by nine thirty, and you say, Your father, your ancestor, come as an animal. Then you remember that ah, I said I wanted to obey you. Then you go into a, to a corner, you repent and say, Lord, you see, if you don't help me on these matters, I'm gonna, I don't know, I don't know what I'm capable of right now. But and then tomorrow again, you tell him I want to obey you. A similar thing is gonna to happen tomorrow. But the way you responded the first day is not the way you will respond the second day. There's going to be an improvement, a little improvement. And then in six months' time, you'll be, you'll be fully aligned. Anyone that wants to build anything with the Holy Ghost must take obedience seriously. You will check every area of your life and align it with the instructions of the Word of God. And you begin to practice the instructions of God deliberately you will not do it in your dream you will do it with your brain working all of this that you are doing is is alignment you are gathering yourself together the reason why those Israelites they didn't want to take advantage of the tabernacle the possibilities of the tabernacle was they, they, they know that God won't leave any aspect of your life hanging out everything must be brought together and be submitted to the authority of the christ it is when that level of of alignment begins to come into place god is willing to speak say this one has accepted my government this one has accepted my rule my command tower has been discovered by this one so it's ready to speak out of the cloud it's ready to speak out of the infrastructure and you begin to hear his whispers his whispers do not come necessarily as hardcore instructions. He will just speak like a passerby. If your heart has been angulated to function under his government, you will take his instruction. He, he, see, he will not say, hey, no. You say, ah. After you finish telling your husband about his grandfather, then he will just pass by and say, I thought you knew. I thought you knew better. He will just pass by. If your heart is angulated to know his voice you should break down at that point and begin to repent but you see he won't do more than that oh you wake up one day on monday morning and you want to head to the fridge because you found one yogurt at at the palms you bought two copies of yogurt and you want to head there and then there was this faint feeling fast it will come only twice. It will come only twice. Very faint. Very faint. Very insignificant. It will, it will pass on your heart twice. It, you, you, you are likely to ignore it. But that invitation was an invitation into pilgrimage in God. You are not likely to, to know about that flash if you have not prepared your heart for engagement. He will just flash. And the second flash is going to be weaker than the first one those that are wise understand his call and they will now align and leave the yogurt then he will show you something greater than yogurt that day because the language that the immortals understand is the language of sacrifice you will have to let something go in order for you to enter into something in god if you don't know sacrifice you you take everything you take tom tom you take anything you are oh if you don't know sacrifice you will become old and your life will not count He begins to teach you sacrifice teach you sacrifice you just make a big break a big breakthrough and then he asks for 50 percent they go and drop 50 and and he will not he will not say it twice he just it will just pass you will know he's him he will give you the grace to be able to discern him when he passes and he will come in a very faint manner it is when you begin to practice obedience deeper obedience that the the hold of that voice the hold of that perception becomes stronger becomes more your, your receptacle becomes more articulated to to, to. Ah. If, there's no one that became intimate with god that that it just happened by accident it's, it's something that must be cultivated 
Because God was, he, the tabernacle was there. He said, pitch it there. But he didn't come to invite people into the tabernacle. It's something, an initiative you need to take by yourself. The more you practice that level of fellowship and you are willing to obey, the more you are going to begin to discover that the voice of God is going to become stronger. He will test you in the area of money, test you in the area of submission to your husband, he will test you in the area of love to your wife. One day you just say, Woman! Then he will now, he will pass at, at your back and say, Don't talk to my daughter like that. And he will just pass. If you are wise, go and look for a guitar and play and sing for her. Oh my God, you good for me. Oh, hey. <laughs> you, you don't. <laughs> Come on, hear me, Saki. May the Lord give you understanding. May the Lord give you. Get that guitar, that rusty one. Come, 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 come. And, and begin to. He will look at you and say, yes, you are making an effort. Yeah. You are beginning to understand the authority of my words. You are taking me seriously. Yes. And then he comes in the night. When you have done that and you have said your wife is happy, even she joins you in the dance. You don't know why you are even that. She doesn't know that he passed by your back and whispered. And then you finish that and you go to sleep. In, and then he comes with a lamp in the night and say, It is for this cause that I have called thee, that you will turn men from darkness to light, from the power of darkness unto the kingdom of God. He will never tell you anything serious until you can obey little things. It's, it's primary school. That's why we learn ABC. Most of you took off like a tornado. You didn't attend primary school. You were a dropout. You were saying, where are you? Where are you? Meanwhile, you have joined Unilag. <laughs> you have joined. <laughs> you have enrolled somewhere. Meanwhile, here is absent. You are a small man in a big body. When Satan shows up, you'll be no match. Because you have not yet learned the wisdom of God. You will take obedience seriously. Obedience seriously. Obedience seriously. You are the one paying the bills as a wife. You are the one, you know, paying the children's school fees. You renew the rent. If you pay for the fixing of the car and all of that. And then you... Your husband says something then you just remind him hey what are you are you then you'll pass your back and you'll drop it they say but i didn't teach you this one i didn't teach you this one if you are wise you will change it to a song instantly you just start singing start singing start when he sees your effort to obey your effort may not be good enough but at least you you are you are tempted he knows that your heart is angulated to acknowledge his kingship, his position, his government. Eh, 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 yeah, you are, you, are, you are in the right place. You are in the right place. And then he opens. And that's how grace comes. That's how grace comes. And when you find more grace, your husband in that state will be elevated just because of you. Favor will shine on him. The Bible says, and God remembered Abraham. You know, in the in the negotiation that Abraham did concerning Sodom and Gomorrah, uh, Lot was the objective. He said, well, Lot stayed for so, so time. He must have evangelized. And I'm sure that uh, he's a profitable man to the kingdom of God. So there must be at least 10 righteous people in the landscape. Uh, meanwhile, there was a statement that Abraham made that caught God's attention. Abraham wouldn't have gone further with negotiation. He, he said, will you destroy the righteous and the wicked? He would have stopped it. But God didn't answer me because he, he, he caught God there. But he went to negotiate. Say, okay, 50, if you find 50, if you find. Then he stopped at 10. So according to the negotiation, Lot was to be crushed with fire because Lot was not productive. It was just his household that was spared, that was righteous, that passed the test. And the, but the Bible says that and God remembered Abraham this was not part of the negotiation that we're talking about. And God did what? He remembered Abraham. Because of his remembering Abraham, he sent 
deliverance to, to that was mercy and the mercy was was as a result of an intimacy he found with Abraham do you know that because of your own intimacy with God God can look upon your husband and say you will not die you will not die because you are in this woman's life you are in this my daughter's life this my daughter that has honored me like this you will live you will live Lord would have thought that it was the night vigil he engaged in that, that led to his deliverance that only had my mercy the Bible said that it was Abraham that God remembered and sent redemption to Lord. There are so many things that God does for an intimate fellow. Prayer is on three levels. You can pray to God as Father. You can engage God as a judge. You can also engage God from the standpoint of friendship. These are the three levels of prayer. And when you are engaging God as a friend, there are many rules you break many rules many you will hear people like abraham say if i found favor in your sight is 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 intimacy is a currency for negotiation if just if i have found what favor in your sight these are men that have discovered the technique of how to move the hand of god where are you where are you? When you learn obedience and you are willing to make an effort when God rebukes you, it means that you honor him. And, and when it is proven beyond doubt that you honor God, then God will see the way your attitude towards the things he sends you to do.